Well, here we go. This is the one that we've uh, all been waiting for. There's um, Rudiger May. Um, Rudiger May from Cologne in Germany. The brother. He's got a brother. Did you know that? He's got a brother. I think also cruiserweight or uh-huh. heavyweight. He's called Torsten May. Um, pretty good boxing as well. And I think the first time um, um, Rudiger May had a uh, had a um, 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 international title uh, fight was um, December 2001 against um, Alexander Gurov, okay. um, the Ukrainian. Um, they, er this fight he did lose by Tiki in the fourth round. Heute Abend will er einen internationalen Titel begrüßen Sie aus Köln, Rüdiger May. Then in 2004, he tried to um, beat um, the, the next European champion, cruiserweight, Vincenzo Cantatore, and he had a disappointing draw. Well, here comes Herbie Height, the dancing destroyer. The dangerous dancing destroyer. A lot of people may... Uh, may remember, some may not remember, that he was the WBO heavyweight champion of the world. He lost that, actually, to Riddick Bow. And I think uh, Mr Hyde himself would like to uh, remind Peter Samuels that, indeed, he's the first ever Nigerian heavyweight champion of the world. Yes, uh, Samuel Peter said something like that. That was uh, right. He he, he liked to claim that title himself, but uh, uh, Herbie Hyde beat him to it. And the one thing we're assured of is a bit of excitement when Herbie Hyde gets in the ring, Roman. Yeah, yeah. Um, as, as I mentioned to you earlier, Paul, um, he's um, he's sort of double exciting because he can punch. Um, he's Ladies got a tremendous hard punch, uh, very fast-handed, but at the same time, he has got a very strong chin. So uh, with Herbie <laughs> well, Hyde in the ring, I'm you never. Gonna, go- I'm, I'm not going to tell him that. Well, <laughs> don't tell him I told that. <laughs> but um, you know, with her behind in the ring, um, um, you never know what's going to happen, and, uh, which makes that obviously very exciting. Um. Well, his, his, la- his last uh, his last fight out, which I commentated on, was a was a tremendous uh, fight against the uh, the Russian, whose name, uh, as usual, I'm. I'm, I'm struggling with uh, Mikhail, Mikhail Nasirov. Nasirov, yes, and he did. A, he had a great performance against uh, Mikhail Nasirov, who, who himself was uh, had a very good record at that point in time. Unbeaten, unbeaten. 19 and 0. Absolutely unbeaten. But Herbie has had. He's on a resurgence, no question about that whatsoever. And uh, he's obviously feeling very good with himself down at cruiserweight. We know that he's uh, putting out all the noises to fight David Hay. Uh, unfortunately, I think David Hay has made it clear that he's now stepping back up to cruiserweight, uh, back up, I beg your pardon, to heavyweight. So maybe that, um, maybe that's not going to happen. Um, you know, and to be honest, I, I give, um, I agree with David. Um, if he doesn't want to fight Herbie, I, for David Hay, I don't see any point in that. To yep. be honest. Um, Well, if you're joining us, and wherever you're joining us from around the world, this is Seconds Out. My name is Paul Carey, and I am with Roman Greenberg, the uh, unbeaten heavyweight that we're all hoping is going to go on and uh, score some big points this year in the heavyweight division throughout the world. And uh, we're here live from Germany at the moment, the Maritime Hotel in Halle, and we're about to see the WBC Cruiserweight International Championship. And the holder of that belt at the moment is Herbie Hyde, who's fighting out of Hamburg in Germany, originally from the UK. Well, actually, before that, originally from uh, Nigeria. Uh, And his record at the moment stands at 41 fights. Four losses. But 40 stoppages, may I add, out of those 41 wins. Tremendous puncher. Tremendous, tremendous puncher. Very exciting. And he's up against, from Cologne in Germany, Rudiger May. But then, uh, I want to remind you, then all of his four losses 
came also by way of knockout. Absolutely. So that that what puts his um, chin in doubt. Into the suspect bracket. Yes. And uh, one of his losses was against the famous Vitaly Klitschko. Absolutely. Um, you know, which is not a big shame to lose against. Um, a really good May has uh, not had so many stoppages in his time, so this could be a, a, a war of attrition we're about to witness here. In the blauen Ecke Herbie Heidt, geboren in Overy, Nigeria, er lebt in Hamburg, ist 36 Jahre alt, 1,88 groß, 90,1 Kilo schwer. Er hat 41 Siege, davon 40 durch K.O. In seiner Ecke sein Trainer Bülent Baser und der Cutman Werner Kirsch. Similar, very similar records here as far as the uh, and statistics are concerned, Roman. Rudy Gomez has had 51 Italy. fights in total, Massimo of which he's Baro won 43, Vecchio. 11 by KO. He's lost five and he's the had three, three draws. A lot more KOs to her today. Absolutely. And Jürgen Langos aus Deutschland. The supervisor comes from Italy, Mauro Betti. And I think um, there's a big uh, high Rizzi. advantage for um, Rudiger May. Uh, as okay. far as I remember, he's six foot a five and a half. He's quite a tall guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, with long arms, so no rabbit punch. you okay. can see that Remember. now. So um, um, Herbie might have trouble to a little bit get more trouble. To him. Well, he's known as a dancing destroyer, so let's see how he does. Stay in your corner, the only other person I've seen dance like uh, Herbie corner. is John Ko Kaoni, known okay. as the litigator from New Zealand. Ring frei, Runde 1, round 1. Box! Here we go, round 1. This is for the WBC International Cruiserweight Championship. The holder of that title at the moment is Herbie Hyde. As usual, Hyde with his fast hands. I hope he's hey. not hanging around. And as usual, very <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> he doesn't like to waste time, does he? Well, it's interesting because May is, 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 is dropping his legs and he's bringing himself down to, to the, the same, same height, height which yes. is a, a crazy situation yes, when so you've got that advantage. I have noticed that. Defence is wide apart there with those hands. And he doesn't want to no. show too much of... Uh, himself to Herbie because Herbie will find the spaces. He looks a bit nervous to me, um, May, Rudiger May. Um, I think he wants to cool down a bit and sort of... Break! Step back, step back. Rudy, Herbie, step you know, back. Get his play together. Nice jabbing. Nice jab, but the counts are coming straight back from Hyde. Nice. Nice yes. long jab, as you rightly said, Roman. <laughs> Can look a bit scrappy and untidy at times, Herbie. But when he gets through with those punches, they have the desired effect. He's obviously got a few supporters there. I'm sure we're going to have a fairly raucous evening uh, should Herbie deliver what he's looked upon to be delivering tonight. Good jab by Hyde straight through the middle of that defence again. Back! Step back! He's Step going back. to need to get close to Step May back. and work inside and underneath those arms, and I'm sure he's looking to do that. Back! But you know what? <laughs> May is getting close to him. That's also true. So... Uh, <laughs> Break. He doesn't need to do much. Just meet him with his, meet him with meet May with his punches. Um, and Rudiger May really doesn't uh, use his um, high and sort of arm length advantage and to, to comes down to oh, oh, good right nice hand right hand by May. 
Oh, oh big right hand by Herbie. He's hurt him. And that's it. He's over. Herbie was there with a, I think, a little bit of a funny punch there. While May was on, on the floor. But that's Herbie Hyde. I've that's Herbie that Hyde. Before. Well, May's got his senses back together. Is that going to no. be enough, though? Oh, oh. end of the round. Lucky, Saved though. by the bell. You can say that again. Well, exciting round um, so far. Well, that's a 10 8 round to Herbie Hyde. I think May was pretty shocked by that. He wasn't expecting it, he just delivered himself. Hyde came through with the right hand. Followed up with a two shots which actually so meant now, anything now, connected. Now, I think now was the extra unnecessary punch. Uh, when, uh, I'm Rudy surprised he wasn't was uh, ticked off there by the referee. Well, in the heat of the moment, you know, these things do go through. Look at that. Well, here we go, round two. We promised you fireworks, and we've already had those. Big right hand again from Herbie Hyde. Well, I think Herbie Hyde is having Herbie's got the bit between his teeth now. He's looking to do the job. I think twice now. I think May's going to be think, a little um, bit surprised by Rudy this. Rudy May um, is looking for the fifth corner. Absolutely. I don't think he has a clue what to do at the moment. Big right hand again. That one also connected. That was high on the temple, having a desired effect. He's got a big storm to weather here. Uh, I think it's just a matter of, of time now, uh, Paul, till um, the fight will be over. <laughs> High on the head again with that punch. Referee's not ruling that a knockdown, but I've got my uh, suspicion as that may well have been. Oh. Big right hand again. Herbie's looking to finish this now. <laughs> Herbie. He Herbie needs Herbie. to be careful. Herbie. What are you doing, Herbie Hyde? One point. One point. Well, I think he deserves the... Uh, he's got to, he's got to calm himself down here. Well, Herbie Hyde is known uh, for, you know, some of his dirty... Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to tell him that either, Roman. <laughs> well, I'm brave. You know what? <laughs> and he's there, and I'm here. <laughs> this is uh, a good oh, old. Yeah. And this is. This might be it. I think that's the end that's of that. Oh. I think that's there. the end of that. He's yeah. calling him up. He's calling it off. Oh. It's all over. Well, there's one thing about Herbie Hyde. He uh, he does finish it off. <laughs> he one way or the uh, other. <laughs> <laughs> one way or the other is the right is the right thing, I think, to say, Roman. He's um, unquestionably when he gets the bit between his teeth, there ain't no stopping him. It's quite messy. A bit very messy. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, it was messy, but. Uh, uh, once that assault starts from her behind, you can bet your bottom dollar it ain't going to finish until someone falls down, that's for sure. <laughs> well, Roman, we haven't needed the uh, scorecard too much tonight, have we? Um, no. Um, well, uh, fortunately for me, because uh, um, <laughs> people won't see how much I uh, No, I don't know about boxing. <laughs> By scoring some fights. <laughs> well, Herbie Hyde, onwards and upwards. He's what, do you, what do you think? Next well, to Herbie? I, I don't know, Roman. Uh, it, what you said is absolutely right. I mean, it's. I mean, look, there's some good punches going in here, unquestionably. I mean, the referee is lax. He's holding his head in place while he hits him. Um, at the end of the day. He can be scrappy, but I mean, it's a case of being able to handle him. And he's look what he's done to his opponent here tonight. 
I, I personally think um, Herbie Hyde is um, quite a dirty fighter when, when, he, when he gets fired up. And uh, I mean, like the example in the previous round. Well, you he, heard he that he here first on second act from Roman Greenberg. I, I know I can say that again. Um, you know, I mean, punching the guy while he's on the floor. I mean, no, it's not good. It's not, not right. Very good, and it's not good for the, for the sport. For the sport, you're absolutely right. And, and and in fairness, the referee should have been on that. I mean, he did deduct a point, as we know, prior to that finishing in that round. But I mean, when you watch some of the replay there, he's holding the guys by the top of the head while he lines up the right hand. I think it's a case of over enthusiasm by Herbie Hyde. <laughs> He's back you know, on the I heard, scene. Uh, I heard also about his spars um, in, in the past, and I heard that every sparring of his was no different. No different. He was a, he was a total mess. Um, well, he's on, a, he's on a resurgence, isn't he? He's full of confidence. He's I'm brimming in confidence. We've got a speech coming I'm up. Let's warrior. see what he has to say. And um, basically, I saw him hurt. I had to take him out. When I'm in the ring, I don't know what I'm doing. All I'm doing is fight. That, that's what I'm paying for. I'm sorry about hitting the back of the head, but that's how it goes. That couldn't be me. He done that. I'm sorry. Well, there's the explanation. He's sorry. Uh, <laughs> I think... <laughs> Over, over his career, I think you should say sorry quite often, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> well, listen, he's, he's full of exuberance, he's up there, he's on a resurgence, he's back in there now, and obviously he hopes that he's going to be fighting for the, for the main titles in, in front of the Las Vegas crowds now, Dan. Yeah, and, 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 and Paul, I can say, well, I like, he wins, he <laughs> knocks him out. Well, he does. That's what, that's what you need to do. He does. I, I, I'm wondering. I mean, he, he made the speech about how happy he was that he was now back down to the cruiserweight level. And you know what? I would, despite I don't think that's the right thing to do, I would really love to see a David Hay Herbie Hyde fight. 